Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in France and I'm at this amazing ruined chateau called Le Mot Chandelier in the Loire Valley. So I first visited Le Mot Chandelier with my mum who brought me here because she'd seen it and knew that I would just fall in love with it. That was back in 2013 and it just completely captured me the beauty of this ruin with the trees growing up through it. It just made me think of there was fairy tales and stories behind it. So it was actually abandoned in 1932 after a fire from the central heating system that the owner at the time had installed. And they, after the fire, they just walked away and let it rot. And it's just been slowly falling apart ever since. After I left, we came to see it. You can't go in, you can just look at it from where we are now. So. After we left, I was so fascinated by the chateau. I did some research on it and it ended up being the inspiration and the name for my 2014 collection. Um, I was inspired by the idea that there were animals and people living within this beautiful chateau and it became the basis of my collection. And my collection then went on to inspire Canberra photographer Laurie Tacchini to create her ghost story series and I'll put all the pictures of my collection and Laurie's ghost stories at the end of this video. So recently in April 2016 a group called the Savants de la Chateau de la Motte Chandelier was set up to save the chateau. There was a group of local people who decided they didn't want to see this beautiful chateau fall completely into ruins and disappear from history. My mum was one of the founding members of the Savants and I'm also named as one of the founding members even though I wasn't here. The group then went through all the legal route that they could to purchase the chateau and in October 2017 they launched a crowdfunding campaign to raise half a million euros that they needed to buy the chateau. Their crowdfunding campaign went viral. It's now one of the most funded projects of its type in Europe. When the crowdfunding campaign closed at the end of December, 18,612 people in 115 countries had raised 1.6 million euros to save this beautiful chateau. They hope to get the keys within the next few weeks and the first job they're going to do is clear the vegetation, make it the site safe, and then they're going to start working on the preservation and the restoration of the chateau. And they're hoping to have it open to the first visitors within a year. Once the restorations are complete, they hope to have it open to visitors. They want to host events here, and they're also hoping to rent it out to film and video production companies. So I can't wait for the day that I can walk in further than this and see this incredible building in all its glory. It's my dream to one day come here with Laurie and do a photo shoot inside this beautiful chateau with some of the gowns from the collection, preferably before they restore it too much while it still retains this fairy tale charm of the beautiful ruin that it is at the moment. <laughs> 